Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Uh, right, next up is Emmy, Emmy Martinez. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay. I love this one. So we were talking about this earlier before you arrived, Tubes, and he, he is known to be a bit of a yeah. right? But that World Cup, and that World Cup final in particular, it's like the things just got the better of him. Yeah, he took it and to a new level. And he just got didn't carried yeah, away, did, yeah. and no one went, Emmy, just maybe yeah. just a touch. But was that the difference between them winning and losing? So let's just run through again his rap sheet. Yeah. And this is just the World Cup. So um, in the parade in Argentina, he was holding a baby with Mbappe's face on it. Wow. And pretending to be its daddy. <sighs> wow. With his shirt off, obviously. Wow. Okay. Next up was um, in the changing room. He suggested one minute of silence for Mbappe in the changing room, having just beaten them with Argentina. Jesus. The Golden Glove. So he wins the Golden Glove, stands up on stage in front of all the world's leaders and decides to... Penetrate Dry it. hump yeah, it. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah That's exactly what he did. Yeah, dry hump it, yeah. I mean, look at the picture on the screen. Look at his face, bless right. him. I know. He's loving it, isn't he? It's brilliant. It's what absolutely What do we brilliant. think about that? I, I, he's got carried away. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. I think afterwards, <laughs> I think after the must. full-time whistle, right, then you need to kind of, that's when you need to maybe show a little bit of, you know. Just chill. Yeah, just chill. Just woo her a little bit. But, yeah. but what I will say is, when you are talking about a World Cup final and you're talking about penalties, right, oh. the difference between winning or losing was Emmy Martinez. Genuinely. Yes, it was, yeah. He, he was the difference right there and then between... Winning or losing, the yeah. the way he dealt with Chumani, wasn't it? Tukumani, yeah. Tukum, it, 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 the, he's got the ball in his hands. So this is the he penalty wa- shootout. He, ben. Yeah, the penalty shootout. He walks up to get the ball. Emmy just chucks the ball away, and straight away, the player's flipping his arms around. What's this? What? He's in his head. Yeah, he's in his head straight down. away. He's in his head. He was slowing everyone down. He was taking his time. They were making it about Emmy Martinez, and then that in turn put so much more pressure on the French penalty takers. So much more pressure. Because as a penalty taker, right, especially like a World Cup final, yeah, can you imagine the pressure, yeah? Can you imagine it, right? It. You just want to get up there. You just yeah. want to take your penalty as quickly get as you out. can and yeah. get out. Yeah, yeah. In and out, shake it all about. See you later. Thank yeah. you very much. That'll do me, right? What Emmy Martin was doing was longing every one of them out. They had so much more time to get doubt into their heads. And that's what won them the game. I promise you it was. It that's was massive. He he, um, he does he does get carried away, but I I'm here for it. Yeah, I I'm here for it. I absolutely, absolutely love here it. for it. There was also one more uh, Premier League. Remember it when was, Ronaldo I, resigned? It was Ronaldo. That was it. When Ronaldo resigned for Man United, yes. and it was early in the season, and nobody really knew who the penalty taker was for Man United. Bruno had been taking the penalties. That's right. Ronaldo signed, and everybody expected Ronaldo to be the penalty yeah, taker. Yeah, it was Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo. So Emmy's in goal for Aston Villa, and amazingly, Bruno Fernandes goes and picks the ball up. Wow. Everybody's like, what on earth is going on here? It's like a power struggle. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Power struggle. So Emmy jumps into action. This is like, oh, perfect timing. Next level. Next level. He's straight on it. He's looking at Bruno. He's looking at Cristiano. He's like, Cristiano, you should be taking the... What are you letting Bruno take it for? I do remember that. What are you you letting Bruno take it for? That's clever. So that gets in the head of Ronaldo. It gets in the head of Bruno. Bruno takes the penalty. Skies it over. Dragged it, didn't he? No, skied it. Did he? Absolutely ballooned it. Emmy turns straight round to the Man United fans, does that little trophy dance that he did with the Golden Glove again, does that kind of thing. But it's, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm there for it. Because that's, but that's that's clever. That's clever. Yeah. In that You're moment going, in time, hey, Ronaldo, he's got in the head Ronaldo. of... Yeah. Like, Bruno, really? You, there you yeah. go. You're not, you're not, okay. Ooh, are you right. sure? You're going to trust him. Good All right. luck. Fair dues. Yeah, yeah, fair dues. Ronaldo would score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go on then, Bruno. <laughs> right, next up, uh, someone that you didn't enjoy playing against I don't think because he was such a busy young player Jamie Vardy oh yeah he just loves to wind up doesn't he yeah he was he was a wind up merchant and he was brilliant at it as well he was that that basically describes him as a player of every he was like a little rat a little ferret Um, he played on emotion he played on raw energy um, off the cuff he was brilliant wasn't Uh, he Jamie Vardy was brilliant he'd give stick to the fans yeah he he was Season yeah. was it Bristol City? I think it was against <laughs> Leicester. And uh, might I might get the team wrong. No, but he was something. Yeah, he was, he was doing something. Oh. Gene him up. Well, the one that you're talking about, I think, is is the one against Wolves. Do you remember he scored against Wolves for Leicester, and he went into the corner, 
where the Wolves yeah. fans are. Well, no, he did the Wolves, he did like a howl kind of thing. <laughs> Hasn't he, didn't he do the Eagle against uh, Palace oh, as well? Oh, that's what I mean. He's yeah, doing he's this up. kind of stuff here. And all the oh, away fans, they know what he's doing yeah. and he knows what he's doing and it just winds it up a little, oh, cranks that atmosphere up a little house. bit as well, doesn't oh, it? I love he, he's like uh, this little kind of story built around him as well, isn't it? It's kind of like every... Every game he has a is it, is it a glass of port and Red Bull, two Red, Red Bulls Red Bull, or yeah, something yeah, yeah. something along those yeah, lines yeah, yeah. Um, and it, I think people just it get it's getting to the point where I think the story's just starting to get more embellished, embellished yeah, all the time, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Jamie right. Vardy's having a party. Yeah, damn right. I, yeah. Bet, I bet he loves a good party. WKD blue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. WKD. He's blood. definitely on Hooch, the race, yeah. isn't he? Hooch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was one of the originals, wasn't Absolutely. it? I reckon, Alco Pops. Yeah, Alco Pops. Alco Pops. I reckon young Jamie Vardy is nailing the Bacardi Breezers. Yeah, million Definitely. percent. Yeah. Love some. Definitely. Yeah, million percent, yeah. Smell yeah. of Ice. Yeah. With his Avisu jeans. Yeah. Love yeah, garage yeah. music. Yeah, he yeah, loves garage, garage music. music. And used to drive Fiat, Fiat Punto. Yeah, and yeah. He, uh, oh, and did he have oh, a tram line in his absolutely. hair? Absolutely. Maybe an Adidas earring. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Kappa, Kappa tracky bottoms yes. with the poppers. Stan yes. Smith trainers? Reebok, oh, yeah, no, Stan. Reebok Classics. Sorry, Reebok Classics, Reebok classics. Reebok classics. yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we love Jamie. What a player. <laughs> but I feel like we've just... <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. He's love it. I love it. What a player. I love it. I love it. Right, okay, next up we're uh, talking about... Um... <laughs> Pepe. Oh. oh, not the chicken shop. No, Pepe. Pepe, woof. Quite possibly the worst tackle stroke assault <laughs> I've seen in top flight football. Oh, have we got a picture of this? Can I we think we'll a put a picture up on the screen. Oh, when the ball comes, oh. kind of gets stuck almost under the arm of the, and he just kicks the player. He's, he's standing as, over him and he's just he's, he's running, just booting him. And he just kicks him as hard as he can. The ball goes off, he then kicks him again, yeah. but like wraps his studs <laughs> all the way up his back. Um, <sighs> yeah. Did he get a red for that? I don't know. I don't know if he did. I don't you know. know. He's headbutted Thomas Muller while Muller was on the floor in an international match. He headbutted him when he was on the floor. The floor. Muller was wow. sat down and he went down wow. and nutted him. Dropped him. Um, <laughs> yeah. Outrageous diving at from times. The, from the top rope. But, but again, these are the players, honestly. You, you don't understand how important they are to your team. Hmm. You don't understand. Until you've got them on your team... And you're in the heat of that battle. You're like, thank God he's on yeah. our team. We love this. This is exactly what mm. we need. Because it not only does it get everybody else more excited and more into it and mm. more invested, it gets the fans involved. Totally. The, the temperature rises, the atmosphere rises. That's what it's all about. It gets everybody yeah. going. I, 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 like imagine... One big tackle, do you know what I mean? Pepe. Oh, yeah. 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 Bang, everyone's get it started. Yeah. Imagine playing against Sergio Ramos and Pepe. Oh, disgusting. Both in the same team against Real Madrid. Imagine, the man... uh, imagine Diego Costa playing against those two. Oh, oh wow. wow. That'd be the... There's, a, there's that, a red yeah. card coming, guaranteed. Yeah, oh, there's a fight. There'd be a red there's card a, there's coming a there, guaranteed. Brawl yeah, what if you're the manager of Real Madrid and Pepe and Sergio Ramos are playing? What do you do? Do you even bother going, lads, can you... Just, oh, can One of you stay on the pitch yeah. today, please. You, One of you stay on the yeah. pitch right, today. Right, so Sergio Ramos got how many red cards? 29. How many yellow cards did he get? Ooh. Who, Sergio Ramos? Yeah. I think, I don't know. I think it was 200 and... Do you know what? I reckon, I reckon Sergio Ramos must have surely got brought off as a substitute quite a lot of times when he was on a yellow card. <laughs> oh, yeah, he must have done. Because the manager would have seen it and gone, he's going to get sent off in a minute. Do you in, any second he's going to get sent off. Do you reckon those two boys as well, you know when like strikers go back about their favourite goals, do you reckon they think back about their favourite yellows and reds? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was yeah, that was naughty. Yeah. That one, that was. I got away with that one. That was uh, how Sergio, I didn't get a red for that. Sergio Ramos's top five oh, red cards. Wow, <laughs> top five ever. That'd be incredible. Oh gosh, it'd be a good little, it'd be a good little feature, wouldn't it? That, wouldn't it? Yeah. My favourite red cards. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free. 